It's really been a month, huh? Since I last uploaded. Well, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to neglect y'all. I, uh, I've been pretty busy lately. And uh, hopefully soon I'll unveil what I've been working on. So it's not me being lazy or anything like that. It's just life and also these projects I'm managing. So let's not, you know, stray too far from what I'm trying to talk about. Um, obviously, this is a article from Forbes. Uh, author is Paul Tassi. And, of course, this is about Nier Automata which the director says that Silver Blade is better. I, I wanted to talk about this game just a little bit because um, I'm not sure if I'll get it automatically. I might <coughs> I might get it down the line, uh, maybe when it's on sale or something. But, man, I really, I really do want to get it, even though I don't have a PS5. But that's okay. Um, from all the bull crap I've seen, <laughs> with people pitching a fit about this game um there was a meme i'm pretty sure y'all seen this meme where it's like oh gosh it's like with bayonetta and people were hating on her and i'm sorry it was with laura croft and how people were hating on her that bayonetta came and they accepted laura croft but they hated bayonetta but then uh 2b from near automata came around they hated on her but they love bayonetta laura croft and bayonetta and then it's like Eve is coming along, and it's like, man, it really is. It makes me feel like, um, oh gosh, it makes me feel like I'm back, like in the er, very early two thousands. And it's like, oh my gosh, dude, I'm just remembering Jack Thompson and all of them. If y'all don't know, uh, just look it up. Um, basically, he's like the GTA lawyer who went against GTA so much as basically saying, oh. Video games cause violence, but anyway. <clears throat> IGN has a pretty fascinating new interview out where they both put say where they put both Yoko Taro, director of Near of the Near series, and Kim Hyung Tae, directly directly of Stellar Blade, in a room together to discuss both projects and the relationship with one another. Uh, I can see this literally be a collaboration one day. I can, because near, near uh, Yoko Taro, he he's no stranger to doing stuff with other creators and things. Anyway, uh, Kim Hyung Tae has been vocal about just how much he was inspired by Nier for his work, but Yoko praises Kim relentlessly, saying he was a fan since his work on the manga uh, manga Carter games, but he didn't stop there. Uh, Stellar Blade is such an amazing game. I think it's much better than Nier Automata. The graphics have reached a completely new generation of quality. Yoko says... Um, also says that the game shows that he's he has his own company where he's able to work with like-minded people. Of course, Kim was not going to agree with the idea that his, his game is better. The more we talk about it, the more I feel like Sarah Blade can't compete. He says he cannot match Taro in terms of storytelling, so he's trying to do gameplay better as a result. Sarah Blade released a short demo recently ahead of his uh, wider release on April 26th. The game is already in the hands of journalists, and reviews should drop some time ahead of launch. You may recall that Nier Automata released to excellent reviews, an 88 on Metacritic and an 8.9 user scored there. Uh, we will <clears throat> we will see how Sarah Blade starts up, stacks up, but even if it does not hit those high watermarks, that doesn't mean it won't be good in its own right. Yeah, I, I agree. So that, I mean, that's just the article right there, guys. I'm going to try to keep it short, but um, I have high hopes for this game. I really do. Uh, ever since I first saw um, the the trailer of it and the gameplay, SX, dude, I was like, man, I'm, I'm into this. Um, <clears throat> of course, good-looking female character. The model herself is good-looking. Everybody looks good. And I'm really, I'm really interested in this story synopsis, really, of what's going on here. I'm interested in the boss designs. I'm interested in the enemy designs. I'm interested in the story overall. And even if it's not um, like near, you can't deny that it does give you some near uh, vibes here and there. Um, I think of Dragon Guard, to be honest, because those are the games I, I, I basically grew up with before near and near Automata. <clears throat> so 
uh, I can see a little bit of it. I, I really, man, I really can see these two working together, Kim Hyung Tae and uh, Yoko Taro, because they're 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 man, they're seriously just right on par with each other from the looks of it. So, um, again, I'm sorry, sorry for this being a, a, sh uh, a short video, and uh, I'm getting back to the swing of things, and hopefully, um, you guys are looking forward to this game. Um, if you're not looking forward to this game, whatever, you know, comment, dislike, like, whatever. Uh, that's all I got to say for this, and I'll see y'all later. Peace. <coughs>